Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. <clears throat> Let me clear clear my throat. Just got done with a nice big breakfast. I'm ready to do some recording here. Got a Mountain Dew. And I'm ready to get back on The Witcher 3. Uh, I started up the playthrough on the hardest difficulty, so that is one thing. Um, I might start pumping one of those out a day or something like that. I just wanted to get in, uh, do a little... Uh, exploring and uh, create a second save of that and just advance a little bit while I was at an all-nighter to uh, to make sure I was able to um, so I was able to, what am I trying to say so I was able to see how challenging it would be and uh, I was able to progress pretty far in a short amount of time Ad was an extremely low level as well so uh, that was nice to find out and kind of see um, let's see what do I want? What consumable do I have in here now? Increases, I lost, okay, I have Thunderbolt in there now. Sign intensity. Uh, Alright, let's go with this. Let's just stick with what we had. Time to go and talk to the Baron. I believe this is where we left off. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Alright, hold on, let me pause this real quick, just to make sure the recording is all good and what not. Alright. Let us hop right back into this. So, we need to save the stable hand and the horse is trapped in the burning stable. How do you go about doing this? Assuming taking this ladder is a nice start. Damn it, lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Always time to loot. Um, right over here? <coughs> yeah. I'm not. Uh, yeah, oh god, no, don't fall. Geralt, no! Oh. Can't get out! Brute collapse! Coming to get you. Let's get the horses out. The door. Move, stable master. <laughs> That works like the door. Open up the horse and the horse is stable. There is the main door. Is this it? No. I'm not making that up. It's blocked. Oh, here we go. Right here. You open it. Oh, okay. It's gonna go cutscene. That works. That wasn't that difficult. Why was it my job? Ah, we've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? All right, Baron. Calm, Shit. calm down. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Too easy, Baron. You just got three hit by the fists of fury. Huh? <laughs> Missing his front too. We need to talk. Alright. 
be sober up now. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last Blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, but Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. 
Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. All right, let's get to back on into this. Let's see if it's gonna have us walk out there, if it's just gonna take us out. Okay, just take us out. A few hours later. A bit further. Follow me. All right, we're in control. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Let's do bury it. Middle of nowhere. Here's the spot. All right. Let's find this little botchling. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. There it is. Look! Creepy little shit. Oh my, what the hell? There's so much wrong with this in so many ways. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll comb it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Things creepy as hell. Good mercy from God. Wow. 
what an absolute what is going on. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is... This is all you, buddy, not me. Hold on, let's queue that up, just in case we need it. Because he said he'd calm it if it started to, win, to wiggle. So I might have to be doing that, I might have to calm it. Alright, Baron, let's go. I think it's creepy. Oh, the smell pulls it down. Watch the scent attracted them. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. So we gotta bury? So we're gonna bury this thing alive? It's gonna let us bury it alive? get some different health items on. Let's go ahead, let's put some grilled pork. I don't know why I'm saving water, but I am. Put on grilled pork. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's, it's a girl. But what honor of named her? Is that a question to me? Like, how am I supposed to die? Just thinking out loud. Alright, homie. We're gonna have to fight some more raids. I have a feeling we are. No, maybe not. Alright. This should be interesting. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of Earth and Sky. By the powers of Earth and Sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Bury the body. 
What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Alright, Summer the Lubberkin, where the Botchling is buried. So, let's go ahead and meditate. Let's meditate in there. So we'll meditate 23 hours and see uh, see if that spawns it up. Oh, it wants you to sit and wait here. Oh, alright. Thought it wanted me to meditate through the day and night. What am I doing? Oh, I thought it was like right on top of it. I was like, what? Alright, midnight. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Oh, there we go. Oh, my mother. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. I didn't actually think it could get any creepier. And then this happened. Wait, Dia, you... Slow down. I need to grab a brooch. Aha, now I'm in front of you. I can't have Roach in here. Roach, come here. Hurry up. Roach, let's go. Ah, oh, wait it for me again. All right, my horse. You, white one. Think you're two swords. All right, this speed Move works it. pretty well. It's a little bit slower than me at this speed, but that's all right. Let's go and find his family. I wonder who it is. I wonder if it's anybody who's been in the story so far or anything like that. Kind of interested. Kind of also interested to see what happens after this. What other stories we've got? Oh, we've got drowners. Alright, let's just avoid the drowners. Head this way. Put my sword away. We don't need that anymore. Alright, we're going off the beaten path. Just taking a little shortcut here. Is this the house? Run, nope. Roach. We're still going. Wait, what the what is it doing? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Okay, let's use our Witcher. Alright, this house is not um this isn't, but I'm gonna collect this. Let's see, here we go. What is this? Is it gonna let me go through it? Here we go. Let me examine it. No, let me examine it. It won't let me examine it. No, what the heck? Clothing. There we go. They change in here. Alright. With that stuff. What's this? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Alright, Roach. Please don't tell me. Okay, good. I thought he, he might have gotten stuck. Let's just keep going. Let's avoid conflict. Chasing. What are those? Okay, go, they're around. Go. Come on, Roach, let's go. Where 
Where are we going? Whoa there, Roach. This is a long journey to wherever his family ran off to. You would think they would have left Velen. They wouldn't have stayed in it. Um, this may be unavoidable. Field oh day. crap! Still worth a closer look. Oh, he's gonna explode! No, 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 no. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, you're gonna explode. Please get out of there. Roach, calm down. Crap is all handled. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Just die. Roach, calm it down. Oh my gosh, there's no, there's so many. There we go, how about the straw, okay? Roach, stop running around. Examine Roach. that horse carcass. Calm down. Alright. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Alright, back on the trail. Let's keep following the Lubberkin. I thought maybe the Lubberkin would look more human? I don't know, this is... It's like a baby met monster. It's kind of like those creepy babies off of Dead Space. Those things were some... Those things were some shit. Those things were creepy as all hell. Horses fear. Oh, there are wolves. Alright, Lubberkin, let's go. Let's go. I can't can't be messing with those wolves right now. Which way are we going? This way? Alright, we outran the wolves. We're all good. Let's see here. This looks like somewhere we might stop. Let's go! Yep. Okay. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Aha! People! A little dialogue can go on here. See what they know. Who's that? In the room. Go on now! What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Yeah, kid! Let's go! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one. Lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, 
bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods... A roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must oh, be her. no way! Mrs. Anna! Gods, she to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now whose whisper twer in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. No way. She's grand. Thanks for your help. With the little the lady, children. She'll be alright in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. You're a champion, little kid. Thank you. Let's see. Mm. I'll take that stuff from you, kind folk. Stuff there. Empty bottle. Alright, I'll leave you whatever is over there. So we gotta go back and talk. Oh. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Hi, creepy little baby. Ooh, level 8. Two points available. Let's go and check this out. Wrong button. Alright. Uh, character. Let's see. We can get a new action skill. Or, not an action skill. A new, uh, kind of tree, skill tree, or whatever you want to call it. So we can get that if we want, being level 8. Um, let's see. Alchemy. Increases potion, overdose threshold, oil applied to blades, time to is slow to further 50%. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. If potion toxicity is above 0, then time automatically slows when an enemy is about to perform a counter attack. Alright, any of this good? Uh, increases toxicity. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I want to get this. During the day, vitality regenerates by an additional 10 points per second when not in combat. So let's acquire this skill. And then let's put it in there. And let me level up. 
Um, arrows while pairing. No, I can't use any of that yet. So let's use, let's upgrade this Aiken to level 3 out of 5. So moving up to level 8, that's good. Um, I'm going to hop on Roach and we're going to head back to talk to the Baron about his family in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, the Lubberkin led us and now we know that Gran is uh, his wife Anna and his daughter is with this guy's brother, I think, or relative. I don't remember which one it was, but relative. Uh, but I will catch you guys in that episode. Peace out, guys.